So in this video, we're gonna do four different bicep exercises you can do from home with just one band. It's gonna be a full workout. I'll talk to you about sets, reps, rest, etc. But one thing's first, I gotta thank James Grage for this workout because he is the band master. So stay tuned. So just to have a little anatomy session before we begin, we've got the long head of the bicep and the short head of the bicep in the middle. So the long head, which gives it that volume on the outside, the short head, which gives it that volume on the inside, makes it look a bit thicker. Anyway, the point of telling you that is just because when I describe the exercises, I kind of want to make it clear to you why we're doing this specific exercise. You only need one band that's one resistance. If you've got more, great, you can vary it throughout the move, throughout the different workout, but it's completely up to you. And also, I don't do a full arms day. So if you do, say, two days where you do biceps, you can take half this routine and then do half the routine on another day. But if you do do a full arm day, this whole routine will be enough to absolutely annihilate your biceps. Anyway, you need somewhere to attach the band to, somewhere to anchor it to. Ideally, you want chest height for this, but I don't have something that's chest height, so I'm using a bed post. Using a bed post, just gonna wrap the band around, loop the band once, make sure the object you are anchoring it to is stable. You don't wanna do a bicep curl and pull the whole bed with you. <laughs> you definitely don't want that. Okay, so we're gonna mimic a preacher curl to start with. What you want is the hands facing each other, and you wanna take a few steps back until the arms are straight. And you wanna feel the resistance from the start of the movement. Feel the resistance from the start of the movement, you're gonna create a contraction that begins as soon as you start curling. So what you wanna do is, when you're putting the arm forward, you're relaxing the long head of the bicep, and you're activating more of the short head. That's what we're doing for these preacher curls. So chest up, shoulders back and down. What you wanna do is, you want to curl the band towards your head and you want to breathe out as you curl the band towards the head and breathe in as you come down. You want to do it in a nice controlled form. If you've got the red band, which is quite a bit lighter than this, I'll put the, uh, all the different weight resistance of the band in the description below. You want to be doing probably a bit slower reps, but I still think nice controlled slow reps fill a contraction from the start. So chest up, palms facing each other, and you're gonna supinate the hand and pull it towards your head, fixing the elbows out in front of you. You don't wanna move the elbows. And you wanna be doing three to four sets of every exercise, aiming for about 15 to 30 reps. I know the rep range is quite high, but you know, your arms can respond to those rep ranges. If you're getting less than 15, don't worry too much about it, but just make sure you're feeling the bicep in that curl and make sure you're not moving the elbows. If you're moving the elbows around, you lose the tension on the short head, and that is not what we want. So now we're just changing the position of the band. You want the band a tiny bit lower, not massively lower, but it can be pretty much on the lowest point of your, uh, whatever you're attaching it to, your bed, whatever it is. I'm just having a hard time figuring this one out. Getting stuck everywhere. Anyway, once you get it round, you loop it in the exact same way. I'm unfortunate here, I've got something that actually sticks round but anyway once you eventually get it round like that what you want to do this is a behind the back curl so it mimics what you do with cables it mimics like an incline bench where you target more of the long head so here the short head is relaxed and the long head is contracting more you want to step forward enough you want, so basically the left hand if you're doing it with the left arm the left leg goes back and the right leg goes forward so same leg to same arm. And what you want to do is you want to feel that stretch on the bicep at the start of the move. This is another benefit of this. This seriously stretches your bicep. And what you want to do is fix that elbow and you want to literally curl behind and down. Nice and controlled in the exact same way.
Again here, you want to do obviously both sides and you want to do three to four sets and that's three to four sets of both sides, 15 to 20, 15 to 30 reps even. And you want to control, I didn't go into too much detail about the speed, but each rep has got to take you around four seconds, four to five seconds, I would say. So one, two on the way up, hold for about one second and what, uh, probably two seconds on the way down or one second on the way up, hold for one second and two seconds on the way down. That's the tempo you've got to do it, the speed. You need to feel that muscle contracting. Now we're moving on to the next. So the next one, I'm attaching it to the lowest point of the bed in this case, the lowest point of whatever you're attaching it to right now works just fine. So what you want to do is you want to loop it around exactly the same way. So now we've got like a low pulley bicep curl, but you could do this with just standing on a band. All this does is shortens the band, increases the resistance. But what you want to do is you want to take it about hip width apart. You want the elbows slightly in front of you. You want the elbows in. You don't want them to flare out. You want to you could step back as far as you want. The more you step back, the more resistance increases. I would suggest putting one foot in, for, one foot in front even. This will give you more added stability and that is what you want. So from here, chest up, sh shoulders back and down like every single movement. What you want to do is curl straight up, breathe out when you curl up. Also notice there is tension throughout the movement, even at the start of the movement, because when my arms are straight, I'm creating tension immediately. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure the elbows don't move so they're in a nice fixed position. They're gonna move slightly towards the end. And again, we're doing the same rep range of 15 to 30, three to four sets. And when it comes to rest, you wanna be resting probably about 90 seconds between the different sets and different exercises, two minutes depending on what format you do them in. I don't suggest having like a full rest, doing absolutely nothing. That's unproductive. You do a, maybe a core movement, do some mobility movement. Don't like start watching Netflix or something. <laughs> Unless that's your gig. But to be honest, do something productive workout wise, maybe even throw some tricep exercises in between these, some core exercises, anything like that. But you don't want to be sitting around doing nothing. That's unproductive. For the last, but definitely not least, we have the reverse band bicep curl. So you've got to think about this as a reverse barbell curl, reverse dumbbell curl. Step on the band, you want your feet about shoulder width apart. That's probably going to be a good measure for anyone. When the elbows by the side, you want to fix the elbows. When the palms facing downwards. And when the palms facing downwards, you want to pull, well, curl, don't pull up towards the chest. And you want to control the movement throughout. This is in the hip, main knee your brachialis, you're gonna feel this quite a lot on your forearm flexors as well. And you'll feel it on probably a tiny bit on the long head and short head, but mainly on the brachialis, which is this bit of the bicep right here. So you're gonna curl up and down nice and slow. Like with all the other exercises, you want to make sure the elbow remains fixed. You don't want to be moving the elbow up and around. Then you're taking tension off the bicep in the way we want to do it. Especially with the bands, it's important to make sure you have strict controlled form. And you're doing it slow enough to feel the contraction from the start till the very end and cause enough damage on your biceps, specifically here, in order to trigger them to grow. Anyway. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. And if you want personal coaching from me, a personal program designed, reach out to me on Instagram at adamscottfit. Send me an email, adam at adamscottfit.com. And I will get back to you and we can find a time where we can discuss your goals and how I can help you achieve them. That's workout goals, nutrition goals, all those good things. Anyway, until the next video, keep pushing those limits.